really hope you're the second gnome I'm supposed to hug, because I feel like I'm missing one. That one that we saw earlier, nowhere to be seen. But that's okay, I'll go back, I guess, and ooh, it's a little dark. This game is rated T for teen, but just based off of the spooky atmosphere, you might not necessarily <laughs> think that immediately. How's it going? Need a hug? Because I do. Hi. <sighs> Thank you. It's just so soothing. And I doubt there's anything else in here. Oh, he's so excited. What's more? What's more loving? More sugar? Oh, and there's an eye here. It's not good. All right, well, I'm leaving. Go on without me. You don't need me. <laughs> and we can just drop down over here and start our ascent once again. So yeah, if you get caught in light, you have maybe two seconds to get out of it, but you're frozen and you can't really move, so. You'll have essentially have had to have perfected the movement, and then you'd be safe. But yeah, just consider yourself a goner if you get caught in that. Uh, so let's go this way. I love her little skirting movement. <laughs> just like, <laughs> and we'll head into this room. And oh, this is odd. Oh, yeah, I think I just stepped in it. Yeah, just because it's black doesn't make it any less creepy, you know. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> Fortunately, it doesn't track. It's great at that. Somebody must have added flour and gelatin to it. We can jump on this bed. I don't know if you can get that achievement for jumping on this one, but just because we're here, might as well jump. All right. But the real reason why we came, obviously, is for our next geisha friend. I'm going to take you and free you to the wolves, to the hounds, to the death. I don't think I got it. <laughs> it. It didn't pop up that I did get it. <laughs> That's not good. Um, yeah, maybe he fell too far. I should probably go double check and make sure that it got destroyed. Because <laughs> I think I just hit it out of the loading screen. Maybe if I load the checkpoint, that might be smart. <laughs> Something that this game gets a lot of flack for is actually the checkpoint system. It's kind of relentless sometimes. Um but it looks like we're fine here. And I don't know if this counts as a death, technically, but we'll we'll go and roll with the punches, because why the hell not? Double check to make sure that we put that geisha right where she belongs. It's the treasure that we were searching for. Yeah, it was not destroyed, so it's a good thing that I did that. All right, you know, I usually like tossing you off cliffs, but obviously that's just not good enough for the game. So there you go. <laughs> Either gotta drop it with my clumsy ass or, you know reset all of my progress <laughs> but we're fine everything's fine right now what lies beyond here is this a scary part I can't get through because the door thank you oh no Yeah, don't forget to close the door. <sighs> Alright, I think we're fine now. Except, well, we're not fine. <laughs> Nothing is fine. Why are we in here? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I hate it. Okay, this room seems to be a little bit more manageable. So I guess let's just start climbing. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here, please. <sighs> Yeah, so get prepared for some of those. <laughs> and also, not being able to see yourself. That's also a big thing. Alright, so let's jump. Ooh. Yeah, it's weird because you don't automatically grab onto things or jump. I don't know why I feel like that should be a necessity in these types of games. It's because I kind of feel like you're controlling Link a little bit and how she turns. And I just kind of expect her to jump on her own and grab herself. By pulling yourself up ledges and things, but not so much the case. Okay. So we're here, but very hard to fall. And let's take a look. Hmm. 
nothing really else to do here except uh oh we got the hunger pangs that's not good so unfortunately we're just going to be reeling over due to lack of nutrition over the past several months years however long it is we've been here and it's kind of annoying not gonna lie so let's hope we can find some sort of supplement or food sustenance maybe oh, excuse me is this a cafeteria Sweet. I love me some bread. Can I have it, please? Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Eat it. No, oh, poor little girl. Okay, let's move on. Thank you for that, by the way. I really appreciate it. I honestly thought we were going to have to deal with that for a lot longer than we did. Also, something to note is a very long noose. That's actually gonna <laughs> come into play here soon enough, believe it or not. So we head in here and, uh-oh, running water. Are these the showers? Awkward, strange, yet strangely non-plussing. Let's walk out of here slowly. Sometimes when you walk into different rooms, it's easy to just accidentally jump off if you're bad like me. And now we've got another electric fence, which means we need to find another switch to turn it off. So let's go exploring in this very <laughs> dangerous environment. What else is new, right? And be very careful. Uh, can we? Yes, we can. So typically anything ooh, graded that you find, you'll be able to climb. And that's really nice for the most part, you would think. Was there a lamp down there? No, it's right up here. Cool. I haven't been keeping track of these, but I already know I missed one, so I'll go and do that. Oh, nope, didn't do it. She does it by herself, all you have to do is be next to it, otherwise, you know. Ugh. Oh, shoot, okay. That was a little closer comfort. Um, how do you guys feel about climbing some chains? Mech on the chain, okay. Now we need to be careful because jumping off the chains is really weird. Just jumping backwards is very odd. So let's jump. And we made it. Alright. So there's a ladder there. And also this. Shoot. You know what? I think I forgot something. I forgot something somewhere. If we pass that area, I'll probably edit it in at some point. But what we need to do is climb up this little area. Because there's a gnome we need to find and we have to actually take him out of one of those boxes. And I just remembered about it. <laughs> um, so let's go bring this up. And this will apparently lift up our good friend, the chain. So fortunately it'll stay up there, but now we need to get to the left side of this chasm, believe it or not, back to that noose. So we're gonna go and bring it over here to the right. And depending on how fast you want it to move, well, we're gonna go and do this and is that gonna do anything? No. We'll do this. Is that that does it? Ooh. Okay. Now it's gonna go really, really slow. But because it's moving in this direction, that means it'll keep moving, so that's good. Just to be on the safe side and make sure that we actually grab it. Yeah, this is fun. Now I'm starting to get eco flashbacks. Climbing up all those damn chains, saving our good friend Yorta. God, I wanna play that game again. Just, I'm getting those urges, you know, to relive my childhood and play through games that I did on the channel again that nobody watched. That's always fun, right? Okay. Well, eventually we'll reach it. And safety. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now let's just be very careful. I think we can do here. And I hear more electricity, so I'm excited about that. Um, and just to be on the safe side, I'm just very curious. I'm going to double check my notes and see what I missed so far. <laughs> okay, so as it turns out, uh, my instincts were moderately correct in assuming that I 
was afraid that I missed something, but we're actually about to come up to it immediately. So the switch is up there, so we're going to need to go and pull this out and make our way there as quickly as possible, ideally, to get through this other electrically mechanical door. That must be a secretary's worst nightmare, you know? So in order to get up there, though, what do they want us to do? Just pull this out, I think? And then just do some awkward jumps, I, I guess? No, I didn't want to push it back. Let's pull it. Yeah, because the action button is the same as jumping and climbing yourself up. We can just jump over this. Oh, and miss, apparently. Because <laughs> uh, I came at it at an incorrect angle, clearly. All right, try it one more time. And let's do it. There we go. Ooh. And we just killed power to the entire facility. Great. But I do hear a noise. And at least we can walk through this for fear of not being electrocuted. Okay, so if we continue on over in this direction, right over here, it's our good friend, another lamp. But also, the gnome that I was thinking of. So I'm gonna go and save you. And, okay, excuse me. Can I just give you a little hug? These are dark and desperate times, my friend. And any bit of reassurance that there is compassion and love in the world, I just want it reaffirmed. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I know you hate it, but thank you. I'll only hug ten more of you guys. Don't worry about it. And now we've got the sticky business of this counterweight. Just go and push it. And so long. Let's get out of here. And take the noose down, shall we? Because now that the power is out, we can go to that first electric fence that we saw and continue forward. Although this is a finicky jump, so let's hope that we don't screw it up. There we go. Don't let go. Alright, well, we made it, <laughs> and it appears as though the slugs, they've returned. I can barely see in front of me, so I'm going to be as careful as possible, because that would be nice. Whew. And we're safe. We made it. I wonder, is that the lamp still on that I did up there? Oh, that's cool. I honestly didn't think it would be, but that's a nice little touch. We can make it through over here, and if I'm not mistaken, we're nearly finished. Uh-oh, because we've got this... another challenge. Now, I'm gonna do this normally. You can technically go through it the same way we did last time, but there's a lot more things getting in your way, so I'm just gonna hang out behind this janitorial bucket of sorts. Just gonna... Ooh. And let's get out of here. Don't want to deal with this room any longer than I have to. Oh, this part. Uh-oh. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Now that I think about it, I'm getting more inside vibes than Limbo, but still. Oh no. I don't like this one either. Did we make it? <gasps> the gnomes! They're here to tell us we're safe. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz. Thank you guys so much for watching, and next time... We'll start with chapter two as we exit the prison. I'll see you guys then.